Hello everybody. Uh, this is my new laptop. I got it about two months ago. This is Asus gaming laptop um, having SSD card and Windows 10 is installed on SSD card. So I really like that laptop but the problem was SSD card was freezing and Windows was freezing totally because of SSD was freezing and then I was forcing computer to shut down by holding the turn off power button because nothing worked it was fr frozen SSD was not responding anything and here we see the lights so this blinking one is the indicator of SSD so right now SSD is working but when it was frozen that light was not blinking it was off and I fixed that problem and I will share with you how I did it so and here I'll open let's open that thing where And this is the, my laptop mo model. It's Asus ROG TRX GL553V DS74. And I also described the problem down here. And let's go. I tried many things before I fixed it. I tried, I updated all my drivers. It didn't work. Also, they were suggesting to uh, delete the Windows anniversary update. It's update 2016, August 31, KB 31.76.938. I deleted that Windows update, but Windows was continued to freeze. To fix that issue, SSD freeze issue, we need to log into the BIOS. And to log into the BIOS, we need to restart our laptop. And then when Windows is starting, press and hold on the F2 button in my case. Now let's restart. Pressing and holding the F2. Here we, we are in BIOS. I already have set, set it up everything here, but I will show what you need to change and set set up in the BIOS system, what settings you need to make there. So let's go in advanced mode, BIOS advanced mode. And on the top menu, let's go in the security. Scroll down and here we see secure boot. Secure boot. Click on the secure boot and you see it disabled. And I disabled it, and you should be disabling it too. After you disable that secure boot, then in the top menu, go again in the boot. And after you are in the boot, you see here C CSM support. I have already enabled and you need to enable that thing too. Enable CSM support. And I want to show one more thing from top menu. Go on advanced and scroll down and just sh will show you that I have SATA mode selection and I have no choice here I only here is SATA mode and I have only AHCI mode I don't have another options after uh, everything you just save and save changes and exit save changes and exit and okay this is first step 
The six second step after we do this everything will be to change settings in the power options, power saving options. And I will show link below where you need to go and download registry ready files. The next thing will be to change AHCI link power management to power options in Windows 10. So we are adding in the power management HIPM and DIPM power options. I will show that link in the description. Click on that link, scroll down, there is this everything like detailed description, read it and you will learn how to activate that option. What you need to here is to download the registry file ready and that file will add a add a HCI link power management the HIPM and DIPM options you need to download it after you download it the, then you just follow the thing click on it and it will update your registry and when you do this go in power options from control panel you can go to power options USA power options power options and whatever plan you have go and change plan settings and change advanced power settings and pay attention we need to make changes here hard disk you will have option A H C I uh, this first thing what you see on battery plugged in you should put in the active mode both turn hard disk never you should put that option on beside active you will have here different options but you don't need them just keep active both cases and then go down and go PCI Express link state power management and turn off disable both of them then apply and ok after you make that changes your solid state drive where you have your windows should be kept awake all the time it shouldn't be going in freezing mode or shouldn't be going in sleeping mode because the point of that thing that it goes in sleeping mode is to save power and save the computer like from put in sleep mode and save power so if you do everything what I showed you you would be your SSD would be working on high performance without getting tired and going in freeze mode thank you if this helps you comment and like if it doesn't help you, just in any ways comment and offer your uh, fix. Thank you very much.